Oh. This is the last guy. Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback. That should bring our boss back, Giovanni, back from his solo training. We're going to regain our former glory. I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. And this is Archer, the, the new head. Well, he's still an executive. But you know what? In my mind, he's now like the new head of Team Rocket. Anyway, that's also something that I want to talk about. Like, you know how in the newer generation, like in the remakes, there's that guy who, when he steals the machine part and goes to Cerulean City, and he's like, I'm going to go back to my hometown and whatnot. And I honestly think that that's issue. That's the new region for um, Generation 5. I honestly think he that's his hometown, and he starts up Team Rocket there, or whatever the thing is. I think that'd be hysterical. Like, if that's that's it, because it'd be like a comeback on Team Rocket. And I find, I would think that would be so cool if they could tie in the games like that. I would love that. I would actually love that. And speaking of Generation 5, like, what do you guys think about the new starters and legendaries? I think that the only one that I like a lot is the grass type one, whose Japanese name I cannot remember for the life of me right now. But, um, I think that... I can't... I mean, I only really like the grass one, and I mean, I don't mind the fire type one, and I especially don't mind, but I, I really just don't like the grass one. And as for the legendaries, I think the one that's going to be in Pokemon White, which is the black one, I think that that one's going to be way cooler. Like, that, that one is, in my opinion, the cooler of the two. Holy crap, Eevee almost died there. That would have been really bad. I'm trying to get Eevee to evolve here, so that's the only reason why I have Eevee in. And I think now I'm just going to put in Typhlosion and have him use, like, Quick Attack or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I was hoping that Typhlosion could do something here. Ember. Yeah, well, that's going to do basically nothing. Not very effective. I wanted to see what Flame Wheel does really fast, and then I'll start, using, uh, then I'll start spamming Quick Attack. I just want to see how much damage this does. But anyway, like, what are you guys' opinions on the fifth generation? Leave a comment down below if you like it, if you... If you like the 5th generations, click the like button. If you don't, click the dislike button. And now, like, let me know what your guys' opinions are on the subject without, like, the, the legitimate thousands of comments. So, um, if you like them, up. If you don't like them, down. It's pretty simple. And so, well, that was Archer with his Houndoom level 35. And his, yeah. Well, that's him. Typhlosion goes to level 37. Come on, Eevee. No. So close. But Lapras goes to level 26, so it's all good. And we defeat Archer. No. Forgive me, Giovanni. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the task after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. And now it changes back to the Goldenrod theme. Silver, thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide. I know it's not much, but please take this. And we get the Silver Wing. Yes. So, there used to be a tower right here in Goldenrod City, but it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. During the teardown, we found this at the top. I heard that that gigantic Pokemon used to fly over Goldenrod in the past. Maybe that fell off a Pokemon. Maybe like that... Maybe like the one that appears at World Islands near Cinewood. Okay, I better go to my office. What do you mean this isn't your office? And what is this place? Anyway, so I'm just gonna um, walk around, talk to the people who we saved. They give you stuff, so that's cool. Oh, you're my little savior. And you get the pink bow from her. Cool. It's just right for Pokemon that no more normal time room, so I'll probably give it to Eevee until he evolves into um, Espeon. Thank you, you're my hero. This is a token of my appreciation. And TM11, which I totally forget what it is, but it's sunny day. It powers up fire type moves for a while. Awesome. Another guy. We have recordings of the crisis, all Pokemon that have been found. We must have about 200 kinds. Cool. Um, talk to you. You run 24 hours of a broadcast. I'll do my best to run around the clock, too. Just want to see if there's anyone upstairs. This guy. I listened to the radio while I was in the ruins. I heard a strange broadcast there. That's actually something I'll probably cover later. Probably. Probably. Not gonna say anything on that. Because I have a bad feeling about, like, the Raikou and Suicune and, 
and a thing. And not to jinx myself, but there's no way I'm gonna catch them! There's no way I'm not gonna be able to pull it off. You can listen to the radio anywhere, tune in. So yeah, um... I'm probably just gonna fight, fight a wild Pokemon really fast. So that we can... Um, I love Mary for Pokemon Talk. I only know what she sounds like, though. Well, she doesn't look that pretty, so... Then... So you guys... While you're talking to each other, are thinking about other people. That's messed up, man. That's like cheating. Anyway, so I'm just gonna battle a ra Oh, hold on. I forgot to cover this, I think. So, right here, this house... This is the lady that will tell you about the kindness of your Pokemon. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in your turn and love you. Wow, my Ampharos really trusts me. Awesome. Anyway, but that's not the Pokemon I want to check out. I want to check out Eevee. Because Eevee's the only one that matters. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they will you turn. Why am I reading that? Yes! Okay, so I think Eevee, if it does level up, I think that it's ready to evolve. So, you guys just stick around. I'm going to battle some wild Pokemon um, until I get Eevee a level up. So, um, just stick around, and um, I'll probably cut to the battle. So, um, BRB, home slices. Watch this is, watch this is the legendaries. Nah, it's not. That would have been hysterical, though. Bloody hysterical. Anyway, headbutt. Bam. Eevee's on the verge of death, and he still defeats them. <laughs> Critical hit! Wow, Eevee, way to be a show-off. Anyway, another random Pokemon! Okay, it's not the legendaries, because the legendaries have cool music. And now we get a Nidoran. Female. Headbutt! Bam! That should do it. Ah, see, we didn't need the critical hit earlier, Eevee. Alright, level 34. Come on, Eevee. Let's see the evolution here. Evolution, evolution, evolution. Uh, Alright, so... That's all we got time for in this episode. In the next episode! We will go to Cian. We will go to the World Islands and capture a legendary Pokemon. But until um, then, peace out.